We only got one chance and got one life to live And it's do or die, gotta make it count So lose your worries, let your problems go on Until my whole body burns out, I ain't never gonna slow down Hey guys, so today I'm going to be, what is that, oh, something on the package, I'm going to be making some ranch parmesan, ranch pork chops with parmesan potatoes, another recipe, I just like to, uh, if you can tell, find recipes online and then make them, um, for me it actually makes me, um, have dinner basically for every night because sometimes I get into a rut where I'm like I don't know what I'm gonna make but if I pick up some recipes plan those recipes then I'm good so this recipe is called it's called crock pot ranch pork chops with parmesan smashed potatoes so Let's see, place pork chops, ranch seasoning, soup in a medium sized crock pot for four hours. So those are the only thing that you need to put in here is the can of, I think it was chicken, cream of chicken soup. I was going to buy some at the store, but they didn't have any. I couldn't find cream of chicken. So I do have probably some in my pantry here. Let's see. I got cream mushroom. I got this can of cream something. I always try to stock up. I do have an extra. Um, I always try to stock up. I do have you know, one of each. So I'm just going to use the Campbell's. I mean, when you're baking with them or cooking, you know, baking, when you're, um, using them for meals the cheap ones fine for this one but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to mix them it doesn't say to do this make sure everything's mixed together good so I'm gonna put the cream of chicken in a bowl and add a packet of ranch the other day if I can find it in my cabinet that would be really nice yeah there it is I was going to see if now I got some so I'm just going to mix my packet of ranch in with my soup can chops in here. The other, the creamy pork chops with potatoes that I made um, last week was so good. So good. I loved it. I would definitely make that one again, but since I have this recipe, I'm going to make this one. Mix 
my ranch, ranch packet. I can't talk today. I got a headache. I was debating on laying down for a little bit or going to work. I think I'll just go to work. I did take an ibuprofen, so I'm hoping it'll kick in here. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is put some salt and pepper on my pork chops. Mainly, no, I'm not going to do salt. I'm just going to do pepper because the creamy ranch is pretty pretty salty itself. So. Did I say the creamy ranch? Guys, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. My head hurts. Says to cook this on high for four hours or low for six hours. We're gonna go high. <clears throat> and then um, about five o'clock, I think I will peel my potatoes. Oh, I got some on there. Oh, it's all right. So then um, I got my Parmesan and my mashed potatoes, place potatoes into a pot of cold water, place on stove, once boiling, cook 10 to 12 minutes, drain them, season, scoop, oh you use some of the great more, oh add butter, cheese, garlic, milk. So I do need, it says, use minced garlic, um, milk. I got stuff on my nail. Anyway. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. So as you guys saw, I was making creamy ranch pork chops. And it has like Parmesan mashed potatoes with it. Yes. I didn't do nothing to it. Maybe we Maybe. I will in a minute when I'm done vlogging. Okay. So I had an appointment this morning to go get my nails done. And I love them. I don't know who did that. And they're exactly what I wanted. And yeah. Anyway. So these are what I wanted. Um, I've been wanting to get them done ever since my birthday. I wanted to get them done before my birthday. And... Um, pink on my hand. I carried a box down. Like a priority mailbox. So I don't know if something was on there. Um, anyway, um, but I couldn't get them done because I kept having cracks. Like big cracks. And you know when they do your nails, they're like, you know. I don't know if you know, but yeah, they uh, put stuff, you know. Um, but yeah, I love, I love, love them. I wanted this color. Um, it's pretty much what I had in my mind as far as the color goes. Uh, I wanted it to kind of match my purse. But to me, my purse is like a little bit lighter than the, the shade I wanted my nails to be. So um, when I went there, I was like, maybe I'll do them like Journey's Pants these pants are about this color so and so when we got there they had a few different shades to choose from and I thought this one these this is you know 
almost call it kind of like a a dark like raspberry I don't even know it's not a burgundy or is it a burgundy I'm looking around to find something that matches it anyway I love them and I wanted to have them you know throughout the holidays and like we're going to go to Florida next week and I wanted to have my them done before we went to Florida and then for Thanksgiving and then for Christmas I can you know so I think I'll probably I don't know because I'll probably be getting them done sometime after we come back from Florida um in time for my anniversary and I'm really liking this this color I might be sick of it by then but we'll see I really like this I like those two colors together gold and that. Anyway, my head is killing me. Killing me. Uh, I kind of woke up and kind of thought, oh no. I'm getting a headache. So I ate breakfast thinking, well, normally I don't eat breakfast. So I was like, gonna eat breakfast. Especially since I was going to go get my nails done. And I didn't want my stomach like growling while I'm waiting. You know. Um, and then I made spaghetti for lunch and then I just started dinner in the crock pot and now I have to work I like a little tiny nap would just be perfect but I don't think I can do that I've got too much orders to work on but I do need to go upstairs and cut my tool I'm debating on if I should start shirts first or if I should just start making my ribbon trims first Hi. I'm trying to debate on if I should start my shirts first or my ribbon trim. Yeah. I have to cut. I have more ribbon trims to cut, but I also have to cut the purple to go with the ones I have out there. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. Oh my goodness. Almost dropped you. Hey guys. So it is 11.47 at night. I'm getting ready to head to bed. I did finish... Orders. Yes. Six orders. I thought I was ordered. Thought there was another one, but no. Anyway, um, so after I got home from getting my nails done, I don't. I had a headache, a bad headache, and so I took what I call my double whammy, my. Tylenol and ibuprofen um, it didn't help and so then I lay down for probably an hour with journey um, I dozed but didn't actually fall asleep like you know fall fully asleep and so then I got up and I you know drank a cup of coffee thinking it would help and it did help I drank the coffee I felt better I made the mashed potatoes and stuff for dinner and then, like, probably within an hour or so ago, I started to not. It's like there, but not there, you know what I mean? It's kind of like behind, like a cluster headache, like behind your eye, where, like, you have it, and then you don't have it, and then you have another one, you, you know. So anyway, I hope there's nothing more. Um, Evan was sick, and Sterling was sick before Evan was sick, so... They're both better, so I'm hoping there's nothing, you know. It's, this is just a headache, I hope. And like, you know. So anyway, I'm gonna head to bed. I could, you know, obviously work and finish more, but I'm like, eh. Um, the orders I have to finish before vacation is, I think, three ribbon trim sets. One, two. Three ribbon trim sets, and they're all the same thing, and they're all the same shirt, so that will be easy to finish. Um, so I plan on working on those tomorrow, and then there's another shirt of the same one, so that would be four of the same design, but and that ship date is the 9th, November 9th, so that'll be when we come back, but I'm like, I'm already doing these other three, and have time, I'm going to go ahead and get that one done. 
I plan on doing those four. And then I have two of another design, two of another design, and then there is just two others. So plan for tomorrow is the four. So I'm thinking if I work, you know, afternoon or whatever, I get these four done. And then after those four, I'm going to move on to the, dun, 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 the two. Where are they? The two, that's one order. It's a brother-sister order. So I'll move on to those. And if I get those done, then I'll move on to the other. Actually, no. I'm going to start... I'm going to start with my two singles that are not the same of the other orders. So the two singles, and then we move on to the four, and then the two, and then the two. So if I don't get the other, I'm not going to get all these done tomorrow, obviously. But I am going to work on Saturday and Sunday and Monday. So goal is to, these are the last of the orders that are supposed to ship. So these are gonna go, and then I'm gonna start chopping away at um, the orders that I have the week I come back. So I or think I already got the seventh close to being done. So that would be the Monday we come back. So I wanna make sure I get all those. Um, I think I, if, if I haven't got them all done right now, then there might be one or two on there. And then, you know, just start getting some of them done. Um, I just don't want to come back to having, you know, two or three hundred open orders. Because I could see that totally um, happening. I get, I've been getting... Um, Uh, about eight to, let's see, eight to ten orders a day. Today I got ten, which was good. Um, yesterday I got seven, but in the past seven days I think I've had like, uh, 75. So, if I, you know, just taking that into consideration while we're gone, or the week that I'm not working. You know, if I get another 75 more, you know, I'll be up to close to 200. No, I won't. I'll be up to about 175 orders, so. It just all depends. And I just don't want to be way too overwhelmed where I feel like, oh my gosh, I have all these orders. And, you know, yeah. Anyway, I'm thankful for them. Very thankful. But I am tired and have this headache. <laughs> I love my nails. They're so beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna head to bed. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, update on food. Um, the pork chops were delicious, quite honestly. I think it could have used another can of cream of chicken or maybe like a half can of milk or something. I just feel like they didn't have enough sauce. Um, and I only did five of the pork chops, so either another can easily another can would have been great or like you know just more liquid in there um other than that pork ch chops were tender and delicious um and i did make the parmesan mashed potatoes and um, i used up all the garlic but they were really good um basically you just make your mashed potatoes and then you put butter milk and then some, it calls for roasted garlic, but then they also said in there you can use like um, the, the garlic I buy in the jar and then just, um, you know, cook it with olive oil. Just like put a little olive oil in the pan and roast your garlic in there and then put it to your mashed potatoes. And it was really good. And then the Parmesan, everything was really good. Um, would I make that again? Absolutely. But I would add an extra can of cream of, of chicken. And tomorrow, um, I don't know if we're going to go out to eat. I don't know because we are trying to save reserve money back for this vacation we're taking. 
and I plan on going out to eat Tuesday when my sister is here. So I want to take her out and then, you know, meet Papa and Uncle Brian out to eat on Tuesday. And that way I don't, I don't have to cook on Tuesday. And then, so, busy, busy stuff. So I also have to pack and that kind of thing. I also want to go to, we went to Burlington, not Burlington. We went to Burke's today. I know I told you I was going to end this, now I'm talking. Um, I need to find Journey at least another outfit. And it doesn't like it doesn't have to be Disney themed or anything. She just the girl just goes through clothes. She's just messy. She's really she's by far my messiest child. Like she we bought her leggings before we went to Tennessee for for the day, for my birthday, for one day, right? And she stained those things up just terrible so um i do keep a lot of her stained clothes and she does wear them like around the house and stuff and but as far as like being out i kind of want her to look a little bit decent you know not like a homeless child but um i got her one outfit that i bought like a couple weeks ago at ross i just want to find her at least another outfit Yeah, and it's too late to order from Children's Place because I totally was going to do that. But then I was like, no, let me just look around. Maybe I'll find something local. So I'm wanting to see if my husband wants to go either to Ross or Burlington tomorrow. Um, we'll see. And I have to get uh, Sterling and I's medication filled. So I'll probably do that too. Actually, I might call it in right before I go to bed here. It's automated, so you could just call it and refill it. I think I'll do that. So maybe by chance they'll have it ready in the morning. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.